Welcome to the Port Vision Plus Device Master IP Assignment Tutorial. In our last video, we saw how to have Port Vision Plus discover a device master when it is on the local Ethernet segment. In this video, we will demonstrate how to change the default IP address of that local device master to the desired IP address for the network it will be placed on. We will also see how to manually add a device master that is on a different Ethernet segment. Begin by launching Port Vision Plus if necessary. Double click the device master listing and the IP programming page will be presented. You may need to work with your IT department to determine if you should use a static IP or DHCP assigned IP. In either case, your IT group can tell you what values should be used. You will need the IP address, the subnet mask, and the gateway address to configure a static IP which will be used in this example. If you decide to use a DHCP IP, you will need to provide the device master's MAC address to the IT group as you or your IT group will need to configure the DHCP server to reserve and assign the same IP address, subnet mask, and gateway to the MAC address of the specific device master. The MAC address may be found on the label on the back of the device master or retrieved from Port Vision Plus when it has been successfully discovered. The IP information may be required later when it is time to configure the drivers or application and is always available in Port Vision Plus. Enter in an appropriate IP address, subnet mask, and gateway address compatible with your network. My example network uses 192.168.2.x so I can configure the third group from the 250 to a 2 and assign 43 in the last position. My network uses a class B subnet mask, the same as the default, so I do not need to change this field. My gateway address does need modification. Click the Apply and Close buttons. The Device Master will reboot and apply the new IP address information as can now be seen here in the IP address column and the status column. To list device masters that are not on the local Ethernet segment, they must be manually added, as Port Vision Plus will not be able to discover them. I know that I have a device master in another city that I want to be able to manage from my current location. I also know that I have a complete Ethernet route from my current location to that device master, as I can ping that device master. In the device master listing panel, right-click the mouse in an area of white space. A pop-up menu will be presented. Select the option to add new device. The add device dialog will then be presented. Enter in a name for the device master. We'll call this one test. This can be anything that means something to you such as the device master's location. The detection type will be left at the default of remote. This tells Port Vision Plus to use IP communications to this device master instead of the default MAC mode communications used for local discovery. Now enter the assigned IP address of the device master. You will not need to add the subnet mask or gateway information. In this case, I know the IP address of the device master to be 187 43 19 18. Click OK. The device master will now be shown in the list panel with an unknown model type until communications are established. Right click on the new device master and select refresh device from the pop-up menu. This will cause Port Vision Plus to attempt to communicate to the remote device master. If it is successful you will see the model type properly displayed and in the status column online TCP. If desired, add additional notes as demonstrated in the previous video. This concludes the IP programming and manual add of a remote device master. When ready, please proceed to the next video on setting the device master bootloader timeouts.